Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the second presentation on fundamentals of structural mechanics. So, uh, we'll solve a nice example. This, uh, this frame uh, uh, with this loading uh, has that cross section, the T shaped cross section shown, and the uh, maximum allowable stress is 300 megapascal. Will the structure with this cross section shown withstand these loads? So, first, we analyze the structure. If we take a, 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 if we take a, a cross section uh, within the beam, the upper part of the uh, member of the of the, the upper member of the uh, frame, we will see that there is no axial force. There is no normal force in it. If we take any uh, section between the uh, uh, joint at the corner and the fixation. We will only see 8 times 5, uh, uh, which is minus 40 kilonewton uh, uh, normal force in compression. Uh, if we want to calculate the bending moment, if we calculate the bending moment at the rigid connection, uh, we will simply see the 8 times 5 times 2.5. So this is minus 100 kilonewton meter. Uh, and this the, the moment will be the same until we reach the 40 kN uh, load and at the fixation the moment will be the negative 8 times 5 times 2.5 minus 40 times 3 so this will give us a, a total negative 220 kN uh, moment so this is our moment and this is our normal force then we should calculate the section properties because this section is not um, is not a standard section, uh, it's not a rectangle, it's not a standard I beam or standard C or whatever. So we don't know the, the I. So we'll have to calculate first. We'll have to divide the section in order to in in, in, in uh, two rectangles, it's rectangle number one and rectangle number two show, in order to calculate the uh, uh, area of each. Then using the centroid of each, we will be able to calculate the centroid of the shape. So simply the centroid of the shape, the Y bar, is uh, uh, the summation of Y bar 1 times area 1, which is 90 times 10 power 3, plus Y bar 2 times area 2, which is 24 times 10 power 3. So this 114 times 10 power 3 will divide it by the total area, which is 3,000 millimeter square. This will give us a 38 millimeter. So using this and use, using the parallel axis theorem, which states that the area, uh, the, uh, the, sorry, the new moment of inertia about the new axis is simply the summation of the moment of inertia of each shape, shape number one and shape number two, time plus the area of each shape times the perpendicular distance between the, the shape, the centroid of that shape, and the new centroid of the total shape. So, in for shape number one, for rectangle one, it's 90 times 20 cubed over 12. This is the I, the original I, plus the area one, which is 1800, times 12 squared. 12 squared, why 12 squared? Because this is the distance 50 minus 38 so this is 12 square plus 1 over 12 times 30 times 40 cube this is the i2 plus area 2 which is 1200 times 18 squared which is uh, 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 the distance between between the centroid 2 and the 38 which is 38 minus 20 so this is 18 squared so this will give us an I of 868 times 10 power 3 millimeter power 4. So I will simply apply my equation. Sigma x equal P over A plus MXY over IX. So now I will have two values. Negative uh, 40,000 over 30,000 minus 22, uh, 220 million times 38 over 868,000. So this will give us a negative 9,645 megapascal. 
a compression stress of 9,645 9, megapascal, which is significantly much larger than the maximum allowable stress. So that means that the structure will fail. So let's move on to example two. Example two is this is more like a design problem actually. So we are having this simply supported steel beam carrying the load shown. Knowing that the allowable normal stress of that grid of steel is 160 megapascal, select the wide flange shape that should be used. So, uh, uh, first we'll calculate the reactions, which came to be 52 kN and 58 kN. Then, we'll draw the shear force diagram. So, we'll start by the 52 kN. Then, we'll take, if we take a section at B, we will see 52 minus 20 times 3, so 52 minus 20 times 3, this is negative 8, and it will remain the negative 8 between points B and C, because there is no new loading between B and C, then at C, there is a drop of 50, so the minus 8 will be minus 58, then the minus 58, there is a 58, the reaction will take it back to 0 at D. So simply we could know that the maximum bending moment is at point E which is from similarity of triangles we could calculate it to be at a distance of 2.6 meters from A. So the area of this triangle is simply 52 times 2.6 over 2 this is 67.6 kN meter. So we will now calculate the minimum required section models. So the equation previously it said that sigma is equal to m over s. So now we will get the minimum s that will satisfy this allowable stress. So now I will get 676, uh, uh, 6, 7, 6, 4, uh, 5 zeros over 160. This is equal to 42-250 millimeter cube. So we'll go to the tables of the steel sections. Steel sections, they have the, the different types of steel sections. They have different tables. So we'll go to one of these tables, the standard sections, and we will look at, we'll search for the section models. So we could find 637,000, 474,000, so we will get the section that has the section modulus that is just above the value that we need, which is the section having the 474,000 millimeter cube. So this is section, the name of the section is W360 by 32.9. This is the code of that section. And thank you. We're done.